here to expose these things to you. About those who have collected vaccine. Get up, get up, get up, get up. And this that in Castoria, Oriana, Barahana. So people collect it out of frustrations. So people collect it out of pains. So people collect it out of different kind of reasons. So they collect it and no what should we do? The Lord said that what they are vaccinated into their body is a DNA of the devil. Say to me, he said, But he said, I am merciful God. Commanded all men everywhere to repent. And the Lord said to me, He said, He granted deliverance for them. And I'm going to tell you now and do the solution now. The Lord bless you all in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, my name is supposed to be Peter Daniel by the grace of God. Today we are going to hear the word of the living God to his people. The word of the living God to his people. The Lord be with you all in Jesus' mighty name. Let's pray. Everlasting Father, we want to thank you because you are faithful. We want to bless your name because you are the I am that I am. You are the king of glory. You are the only one of Israel. We thank you for not failing us. We thank you for the fire. We thank you for your spirit. Ratatas kivilimbuha. E ratam zefenge takwara. E deskadini kansoria. E kanakuvara. Iskende kuri hambara. Eriaka iri kansori hamberia. We thank you, Jesus, for coming down to save our soul from darkness. Be glorified in the name of Jesus Christ. As we are hearing the word of God, O oh Lord, we ask you to fill our heart. We ask you to touch everyone. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. God bless you all in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. My name, name will remain Apostle Peter Daniel. Uh, I welcome you to this uh, to this service today i pray the spirit of the living god will not depart from you in the mighty name of jesus christ of nazareth i pray the grace of the lord will richly be with you and deliver you from every satanic uh, attack and so in jesus mighty name uh, Uh, please, before you hear this message, I would like you to be prepared to listen to what the Lord is saying concerning the uh, the matters that I have discussed earlier. Though I have said it in my previous video, but I want to talk it in full now. In full now. In full now. And I pray that the Lord God Almighty will all be with us in Jesus' mighty name. About some times ago, I go into a serious prayers about a serious matter that is going on on people. A serious matter going on on the life of the people on base of uh, what the Lord is saying about his church. Some people were asking me that uh, does it mean that anyone who take care uh, vaccine will not make it to heaven or what? Or what am I trying to say? But uh, thank God because this thing is one of the things that is uh, giving me a serious, uh, a serious concern. A serious concern because of uh, the love I have for the people. So, by the special grace of God, the Lord asked me to go into serious prayer. The topic of what we are talking about today is the God's solution to those who ignorantly collect COVID-19 vaccine. So, I go into serious fasting and prayer, and one of the reasons I go there was because uh, of the 
of the people many people i, I people were messaging me seriously i was uh, sending me a lot of messages about their ignorance in collecting this vaccine uh, how they collect it unknowingly is after they have collected it that they begin to find out the truth about this vaccine of a thing and uh, this shook me a lot so people will call me on the phone and begin to cry begin to cry and begin to weep seriously about these collections of the uh, of vaccine and this become a painful thing to my heart sometimes i will be very worried i will not be able to sleep because i felt how many people is going to go to hell for that naturally what the lord told me is that anyone that take this is going to go to hell no matter who the person is and the pastors who have encouraged them to collect it will be seriously judged and they shall be forsaken by god uh, and by that i go into serious prayer and fasting and the lord begin to speak to me i think on the fourth or fifth day the lord begin to speak to me about those who have collected covid 19 vaccine so and i appreciate god for the answers god have given to me as i've said in my former former videos that this is what the lord says that they will not make it to heaven but i am still willing in all my heart to ask god for favor for god to show them mercy because uh the, the, the a human being it can happen there's some video they sent to me where people were coming when it was still very hot that time they were coming from uh, ghana and come and see how they captured them from the airport they tied them in the hand and their leg security forces and they begin to inject them it's a lot raw videos a raw video that i saw myself i pray if i search my, my phone i can still see it a raw video of where out they are forcing the the people who are coming from the uh, ghana of coming out of i don't know they they, they, they forced them they, they fought them about the five soldiers, uh, five soldiers at a time, they will force them down, tie them down, and inject them. These people are they going to go to hell too, Lord? It's not their fault. They didn't really. Those who went to go and campaign, they could go with the campaigning stuff to go and campaign in the in the government office to say no, we are not getting vaccination again. But that the government I uh, gave a command from the top and command the soldiers to go and capture them and then uh, vaccinate them and in the video was so obvious they sent it to me at that time they sent it to me at that time and so that ran after them begin to beat them up and then uh, vaccinate them i was seeing it is not it's not a story tell. it's not the, the video hit the video it the video it and they begin to inject them with this uh, demonic and satanic virus upon their bodies uh, yeah, 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 yeah. this is so painful uh, again they send me another videos again uh of 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 of, 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 of soldiers going into houses in Germany, going into houses in Germany and begin to i don't know the place in the state there they begin to jack in the door you lock your door they will break in the door they will with the gun on your head and tell you they will shoot you carry your hand if you say no with them they will beat you up and put it upon you these are videos they've been sent to me. They sent me another video again of a man who ran up, 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 up in his house and ran up to the to the roof of the house. He was running inside the roof, and the soldier went again and climbed the roof and began to chase him and they capture him, beat him down, and he fascinated him. These are the these very different kind of things going on in the war, forcing the children vaccinations in the school. There were there was a time they said that the vaccine is not for the children. But we found that that it was all a lie it was all a lie they were also fascinating children they are fascinating the adult fascinating them in the school and i just i don't have a touch in my heart i said let me go and i said no i think the lord showing me the revelation then and show me my daughter that they want to fascinate my daughter i said what i called i said what i said i come and then i was not around i called my mother i said mom please inform from the go and take my daughter right now from the school and do allow her to go to school for three days so then i said that that time i thought it's still very early then i said don't allow her to go to school for three days so by the time we the the uh by the by the time my mother get there and deal and remove her she was taking her that same day that same day these vaccinated people came there 
and the, the time for my mother, my, my daughter was not there. They vaccinate all the students there. So what am I trying to say is that this fascination of first food and fascination is many. And the Bible didn't will not want to uh to 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 judge or rightly. I know our God is a faithful God. So that's why my heart was thirsty and in hunger of what God is saying about those who have collected vaccine. Some people collect it out of frustrations. Some people collect it out of pains. Some people collect it out of different kinds of reasons. So they collected a law, what should we do? The Lord said that what they are vaccinated into their body is a DNA of the devil. There are chemical things that they are put into their body that we add, add, uh, automatically remove God's uh, personality from their lives. He said, but, he not said to me, he said, but, because then my heart was so pain, was so pain. He said to me, he said, but, he said, I am merciful God. He called to me, open your Bible to the book of Acts of Apostles chapter 17. Acts of Apostles chapter 17. If you can, if you are there, Acts of Apostles chapter 17. Yes. Verse 30. Verse 30. I will read. At the time of this ignorant, God winked at. But now commanded all men everywhere to repent. You see that? At the time of ignorance, God will act. But now commanded all men everywhere to repent. So listen to me what the Lord has said to you, to everyone. Listen to me, listen to me, listen to me. The Lord said to me, He said, Those who have collected vaccine. He said, he has granted the grace upon my life that I should pray for deliverance for their lives. A serious deliverance. And that day, he really do something that day to make me, to confirm the revelation he was showing to me at the time he was speaking to me. After the message I received from God, a woman called me. I don't know where she coming from. I think it's from it's either Italy or Germany or he coming from all those states or, or countries. Not USA, from the other side. So when the woman called me, the woman told me how she was uh, vaccinated unknowingly and uh, ignorantly. So I told her that there's nothing she can do. But I now told her that, let me pray for you. Let's see what God will do. So that was after I received the message of God. So when I pray for the sister, I say something. As I was praying for the sister, the sister began to jack. So I say something. I said, Holy Spirit, if truly you have set this woman free now, I want to see a sir. And immediately, the sister begin to burst in a, a serious tongue. She burst and speak in tongue for a very long time. Her body was shivering in the very high speed, shivering, shivering, speaking in tongue for more than hours. So, and uh, I left her in that speaking in tongues. I got the, the call from that speaking in tongues there. Uh, and uh, I, I, I left. After that, she called me back and told me that in the dream, he saw some revelation of deliverance that they removed something from my body or so like that. So what am I trying to say is that uh, he say is that uh, God is still is still doing that, and God does show me that thing as a sign that He has given me the grace to pray for the people for their deliverance. But right now, what we are going to do is this: the Lord is saying that you can still make it to heaven. He said to me that only those people who are going to be set free and be delivered that is they are going to be the one that 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 they will make it to heaven they those people who are going to pass through deliverance so which means that you need them to do that there's no way you can do that don't prove arrogantly don't prove that you know all things in this moment we are if you think that your technology, your brain is able to save you, then we leave you for yourself. You will meet yourself on the judgment day. The Lord is giving you a solution because I was asking it because the Bible says the blood of Jesus Christ is able to do all things. In as much as still a test running spirit that is still going on, it is not a physical, a physical 666. And most of the people were not even aware. The information did not circulate well because not everyone is aware of this. Two people are shouting about it. What of those people who doesn't have phone? What of those people who doesn't have phone? So I, I was telling God, Lord, speak on these matters. And the Lord said to me, He said, He granted deliverance for them. And I'm going to tell you now that if 
you have connected the vaccination wherever you are in any country you have to make sure that you meet me in person i'm going to organize a day of deliverance for those people who has collected vaccinations for those people who have connected vaccination in a particular place i pray god give him the grace if you are willing to be set free as from now on for that you are hearing my voice go and be messaging me i'm going to drop my number message me i am not a pastor that needs um uh, it's not about money that is about my mother so this is that it's all those all those pastors he say it's money they need it's money they need no 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 i'm out of it go and check all my all my videos all my video on youtube you will never see me preach about money i'm not that jesus has been faithful nevertheless i know god is still great in sending people who are going to be helping us but we are not craving for it we are not thirsty for it. We are not struggling for it. Jesus Christ is the one doing it for us. Amen. Amen. So what I am trying to tell you right now is this. Go and do the solution now. Go and do, don't just say that. Uh, 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 no, 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 no. Don't give an excuse because it's a problem. You have been, you have been injected ignorantly. And the Lord is saying it now that it is time for deliverance. Because now there is another thing coming up now. This thing that is going to come up now, you must not connect it. There is another thing coming up now. I am still going to review it very soon. But this that is coming up now, make sure you did not receive it. If you try this time, you might not have grace again. Though this time God is telling you now, wherever you are in the world, I am not saying I am this and that. He said, can our pastor not uh, pray about it? I didn't say cannot pray about it. Is it your pastor that believes in verse about to pray about it? Or the pastor, your pastor that God didn't give you an instructions to pray about it? So, except there is an instructions. And I'm not saying that I'm the only one who can pray about it in the whole world. But this is the truth of the fact. We didn't know who is of God and who is of the devil. There are many pastors today, some are even preaching holiness messages, but most, some of them are maybe satanics. Mainly satanics. They have sacrificed their soul for the devil. They are illuminati, but using holiness to cover faith. So I am not trying to defend myself, but go and ask God in prayers. Say, who is supposed to be that Daniel? And God will show you what you need to know. So listen to me very well. I am telling you the truth of the whole fact now. Wherever you are in the world, if you have received vaccinations, there is a solution for you. You have to make sure, because after the revelation I received from, from God, I call a, a minister's meeting. The holiness minister people that I know that they are holiness. I, I, I call for an urgent conference meeting, which we hold in the camp. They all came in the camp. The holiness, holiness, holiness ministers. When no people... We call, we have, I call for it, and we hold a conference meeting about this message that God told me. And I told them freely, I said, listen to me. The Lord said to me that there's now a solution for it. And uh, when they listen to it, and the spirit of the Lord witnesses in your heart that it is true, that it is the Lord saying it. So I let them know that please, wherever you are, for those who are already discouraged about this matter of, of COVID-19 COVID or whatsoever, please tell them that now and now and now they can be free. If they will sacrifice, if they are in the United States, let them come to the beginning. I will not come to your country to come and pray for you. It's not possible. And I, will, can, I cannot be holding calls and be praying for you. You say, let us see Zoom meeting. Zoom meeting is not as easy. It's, it's a demonic something in your body. So you have to come wherever you are from, wherever you are in the world. Make sure you come to Nigeria. So we have the deliverance there. And I'm so sure about it that the demon will completely leave you. And your name will be written in the book of life again. That's the fact and that is the truth. I, I pray the Lord God will bless you in Jesus' name. Please and please. Who, I know, who, I, I don't know, but I believe that you are a child of God looking at me right now. Wherever you are, this message, share it, I beg you. Share it to all your friends, your family, all the contact in your WhatsApp. This message, share it to all the contact in your WhatsApp. Share it to everyone 
Share it to those who you know. Share it. Share it everywhere. Share it. Let it go viral. Share it in your YouTube channel. If you have a Facebook, do just keep quiet about it. Share it in your Facebook. Share it in your Twitter. Share it in your Instagram. You have to remove this evil technology, even demonic ID, ID they put in your body. You have to be free from it and you shall be saved again. Share it to everywhere. Now take the campaign. Tell people in your places. Tell people in your village. Tell them of what I have said. There is now a solution. Hallelujah for it. So let it be shared everywhere. Tell everyone the dead can be delivered from it. May the Lord God Almighty bless and be with them. In Jesus' mighty name.